she was a sweet wife or a good mother. A Romulus man visits his wife's gravesite daily, but the tombstone he ordered isn't there yet, more than seven months after he paid for it. It's become a point of frustration for this retired veteran and his family. His son contacted us hoping we could get to the bottom of this uh, monument controversy before Mother's Day. Alicia Smith looked into it, and she picks up the story in Romulus. She, she was a beautiful person. Nathaniel Butler is talking about his late wife, Marjorie. They were married for 65 years. She passed away last June. She would say, I'm not dying. I'm just flying away. The mother of four boys loved butterflies, so her family ordered them to frame her name on the headstone. A monument Nathaniel ordered back on September 11th and paid for in full, $2,094.07. I go there every day. The 88-year-old visits the cemetery daily, often with his son Byron. But more than seven months after ordering the headstone, they were still waiting. They told you what kind of time frame for the tombstone? They told us that the, the foundation would be put in um, before the weather changed and that they, after the foundation was in, that they could lay the tombstone during the winter. No problem. And nothing ever happened? Absolutely nothing. The first sign of any movement on the part of the company was this foundation that was put in in mid-April. They said they were going to try and put it in before the winter. I called the company, Arnett's Monuments, out of Ypsilanti on Friday. The owner emailed me a statement that said, in part, our weather was not conducive to us pouring the cement foundation that supports the memorial. She went on to say, I am sorry that the family has had to wait, as other families have as well. We are anxious to complete our work and help all of our families complete this very important tribute. The company put the headstone in place three days later. Our cameras were rolling when Byron Butler saw it, a day after his father got to see the headstone for the first time. He's satisfied that it's in, so when he comes up here, we can get some grass in, we can bring some flowers. I'm glad. I am, I'm glad. Glad that it was done. I'm glad Channel 7 helped us out, and I appreciate it. Absolutely. In Romulus, Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Well, we're so glad that company took quick action after our calls, too. Byron's dad, Nathaniel, was feeling under the weather today, but we're glad he was able to see the headstone yesterday during his daily visit. We hope he's feeling better real soon.